Hello, hello, Robin Rose Bennett here. I've decided to answer yes to requests that came in with one of the videos for a little tour of my herb room. So let me pull back a bit. I know the light is a little dark. Well, see if I put the light on and get a glare. If I don't, you can't really see. So I'm gonna go for the glare and then do some close-ups. So what you see here are the herbs that are currently hanging to dry and um let's see we have some garlic from the garden some comfrey uh lots of queen anne's lace beautiful queen anne's lace this should be about dry um let's see what else is doing around here ah uh, here's some marshmallow uh, leaves and flowers. There we go. Um, over right up here, got some grape, which I'm actually more using than drying to help uh, my injured foot. We can come back to that. I love the little tendrils that you see here on the grape. Um, I, I use every part. I use the grape leaf, stalk, and tendrils for the whole circulatory system. Amazing medicine. Um, but I'll talk in the other video about it for bruise healing, uh, lesser known. And then here's some beautiful Minarda fistulosa, um, otherwise known as native bee balm. All right. So, and then what you're looking at too is I have baskets um i would tell you what's in them if i remembered right but uh i know there's some dried orange peels I, I forget what else is up so it's great because i have the herbs able to hang from the lattice with um you know high tech here push pins and little um little ties all right here's a tie that got left up um yeah Okay, and then I can put the baskets because the lattice is attached to beams. I can put baskets up in there so I can get quite a lot of storage going in a small space, which is good because, whoops, I live in a little hobbit house and um, oh, more garlic. Yay, all right, it's time to take these things down. And I will trim the stalks as well, but not down to the bottom. I find they keep better when I leave some stalk on them. I don't know what's here hiding in this basket, but just for fun, let's take a look. Ah, so that would be some um, garden sage, salvia officinalis. And under there, very last, very last, elderflower blossoms. These are dry. I can get ready to put them away. And oh, just for fun, if I can reach it, I show you whatever's in here oh i can't reach it sorry uh so i don't know and i have a little fan here um which i turned off just for the sound uh quality of the video but a little fan because it's so hot and sticky and then just to give you a little peek behind the curtain all right guardians of the herb herbs closet behind the curtain i have um some storage area, tinctures, tinctures, elixirs. Here's some in this bag here would be some wild carrot um, that's fully dried and the, it's sitting here ready for me to get the others down to add some, looks like lemon balm. Here, these are ones that are already dried that I just haven't put away. Orange peel is one of the few things that I'll store in glass. Uh, they keep better. Peach pits, orange peels, I store in glass jars. Um, everything else pretty much is in bags. Here is some more dried grape ready to be made into tea. Um, here is on a most personal note, here is my great grandmother, Esther who I learned was an herbalist after I had been an herbalist for about 10 years in New York City. How about that? 
and I think I'll stop there. Let's see, is there anything else I want to tell you? Ah, yes. So one more step back. This cabinet, or I don't know what you call it. This is where I keep my dried herbs um, when they're ready. So I'll just give you a little peek. All right, again, behind the magic curtain. All right, so here's the dried herbs. The, the bags are labeled. They're in relatively alphabetical order. So there's the G's, right? Ginkgo biloba. And um, there we go. Lots of herbs uh, for use by me, family, friends to share. These are actually my overstock of tinctures. Um, anyway, drawing back now, drawing back, back to the plants. So there you go. It never hurts to ask. You asked for a tour of the herb room. And I said, yes, green blessings, much love. Take good care and get outside. It is the most healing thing you can do.